welcome to Eric Blackman Music. In the late 90s, a friend of mine who collects guitars called me up and said, Hey, I'm going to sell my Wayne's World 2 Stratocaster. You get first dibs. Do you want it? Now this guitar is a copy of one featured in the Wayne's World 2 movie. And I asked him, how much do you want for it? He said, 150 US dollars. I said, sold. A few years later, my wife and I did a wedding reception at the Hilton Hotel. The groom's mother told me that the groom's uncle was Brad Whitford of Aerosmith and that he was invited. However, he was not expected to attend because Aerosmith was on tour at the time. I just dismissed it. I was thinking, no way he's going to show. Well, about 30 minutes into the performance, my tech guy walks up to the stage and says, hey, that guy over there looks like Brad Whitford. I couldn't believe my eyes. He actually came. My wife jumped all over me. You didn't tell me Brad Whitford was coming tonight? I said, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't think he would show. A few minutes later, Mr. Whitford's bodyguard came to the stage and asked if Brad Whitford could come up and jam with us. I said, are you kidding me? Sure. I handed him one of my strats and we played several songs together, including Pink by Aerosmith. The crowd was going crazy and a wonderful time was had by all. When we went to break, Mr. Whitford was kind enough to sign a bunch of stuff for us, including my Wayne's World 2 Strat, which I happened to have with me that night. When he saw it, he said, we were in that movie. I said, yes, you were. Not long after that, Aerosmith stopped signing anything unless it was at a VIP event. I got this guitar signed just in time. And that is the story of the Aerosmith sign, Wayne's World 2 Strat. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh,